Hey everybody, Chris here with Chris Cross Crafts. Today, we're upgrading the router table. Eh, not the table per se, but the router that's in the table. I was in desperate need of an upgrade. I researched and researched to kind of look at all the things that I needed for my setup and wound up with the Triton TRA-001. Three and a quarter horsepower and tons of other benefits and features. Hold tight, see how I was able to modify my existing top and insert and to be able to outfit for this thing. Man, with the above table adjustment, this thing's a game changer. No more bending down. I'm getting kind of old and lazy. Anyway, want to see how I put it in, see the different things I did to make it work? Hold tight, we'll watch the rest of the video, and you'll see for yourself this is a good option maybe for your table or handheld. Either way, hold tight. Okay, so let's get this table cleaned off and get everything ready. Unopening the box here of the uh, Triton router, you can see there's a lot of accessories that come with this thing. Quite packed full of items that, uh, well, for my application under the table, I just didn't need, like the edge guide and the some of the dust accessories. So getting all of that removed now, that uh, plastic dust shroud is very nice. Even though I didn't need it, I certainly was going to hang on to all those items, so throw them in a the box and put the box away on the shelf. Got the plate all laid out and getting everything ready. Had to move over to the drill press. I wanted to use a Forstner bit to create a nice flat uh, shoulder area for the screws that are going to work. Have to recess those down, of course. And I went with a with a screw that has a nice wide washer style head that'll hold everything tight and not run the risk of the heavy router creating problems of uh, falling through. In the drill press table build, you can see that here. Put a link above love this table so got that all taken care of now I'm working on the acrylic plate uh, this is a, a system that I bought that goes underneath the table but it also has a means of applying dust collection for on top of the table so it does both fantastic system and I absolutely love how it performs and I'll put a link to that above as well and this little plastic sheet actually has hook and loop on part of it which is what holds the the blue cup that you see to the left that holds that in place so that it does create true suction underneath the table and I'll have more than that later so get the plate mounted up air all screws tight and ready to go Okay, so let me catch you up here. I did remove the initial base plate off the router. I took out the shroud and the dust collection system and I'll show you why. Uh, a couple of reasons. One, uh, this doesn't completely enclose inside this cavity. Uh, two, this is a narrower diameter span than this is. Um, even though it's only 3 eighths of an inch difference, that's an extra 3 8 inch bit, that, especially if I start getting into making doors and things like that, that I'll still have available to me. Uh, the, again, this dust boot that I had on my original, it, it is completely enclosed in here. Uh, and due to the fact that it had to affix, I had to get a little special with it because on the bottom of this plate, it did stick up a little bit. So I had to protrude this rubber boot up and into this cavity, which meant I had to space that out which also meant that the screws that it came with no longer worked. Thankfully, I had some of the quarter 20 uh, screws that I used uh, for my CNC setup. I had some of those left that had a full half inch length. They fit in here perfect. Uh, they're nice and flat. Uh, so I got everything drilled out, ready to go. Now let me show you some of the basic features on this machine before I uh, mount it back into the hole. Um, it has a lot of versatility as far as adjustments go. It has this, this button here. You can depress this to raise and lower it quickly. You can depress this button on the side like that. And that enables it to quick release. Let me loosen this turret screw here. So this allows it to fully go up and down this direction. Uh, it does have a locking mechanism on the spindle, so you only need one wrench. Uh, I will say this from above the table, 
This wrench is curved, which is nice. That allows will allow me to get things from above the table much easier. This does have a really long spindle on it. So again, another benefit for that. Now, um, if you're gonna get a router like this for using by hand, you could do this and, and not have to do any other modifications. If you're gonna do like I'm gonna do and mount this in a table, the one last step that I'm gonna need to do is uh, loosen this screw up here on top like this and you're going to want to hold this so that that's, there's a spring in here like that it's going to come out like that okay remove that spring then refasten that in what this does is this forces tension so when you move that it raises it up quickly uh, you don't have to fight it but if you're going to put it in a table and invert it you don't need that spring that uh, that spring is going to kind of get in your way so this will eliminate any of the excess tension. I'm gonna save that uh, for down the line. For now, I'm gonna put the screw back in and we will be ready to put it in the table. So uh, one of the nice features, remove that spring and you'll be good to go. And you'll notice that uh, when you saw me drilling out that whole extra hole in the insert, uh, this does come with a uh, with a nice above table crank, so you slide. I'm going to slide that down in that hole. It's got registration points so that you can kind of identify exactly how far you're going up or down, and uh, we'll be in business. So I uh, should be able to go put this right back in, upside down, and we'll rock and roll. And I made sure that when I did this, the port was in the back. The on-off switch was right here on the side, and I'll have full access to everything. So let's get this dropped back in the hole here. This is going to be so much better. This is going to have more power than the 618 series uh, router that I was currently using. This is going to offer a lot more versatility. For uh, routing, plus it's going to free up my 618 router for hand use, which I need. I've needed that quite a bit. So um, anyway, that's something stopping me here. There we go. All right. So let's uh, get the screws back in. Lock this in place. Okay, so to make adjustments, you lower this right down onto that. And you raise this up just so simply. And you can start to see that the uh, piece is coming up through the hole. Okay, so a quick look here at the Triton TRA-001, three and a quarter horsepower router. Uh, this thing has got just tons of features added into it. Uh, you have your own off switch here that's enclosed uh, with a case. So you, you have that on and off. It's got a nice depth stop here. Uh, it does have a spindle lock once you dial it in. Speed control, uh, variable speed all the way up to 21,000 RPM. You have your quick adjustment here. You have your fine tune adjustment here, and I'll show you a really nice feature that uh, you turn your button off, let the door close, raises all the way above the table, and this will actually engage the spindle lock. So that won't allow you that will allow you to change your bits from above the table using the offset wrench. Make your bit change, lower it back down. Once you reach a certain point, you can now open your door, turn it back on, and you're back in business. Um, it does, this, this handle does remove through the top of the insert, and man, it is just a beast mode. All right, so there you go. Hey, with this above table adjustment, curved wrench, ability to change the bits above the table, all the other things that this thing has, well worth it to put into my table. I'm glad I did. Well, hope you liked it. Maybe it gave you some thoughts on whether or not you'd like it for your table or for use by hand. Either way, um, I'm glad I did. So, 
Uh, we'll see and see you next time. And don't forget, click the like button down there, ding the bell, be notified, all the other good things you know you want to do. I know you can't wait till the next time you get to see me. Anyway, go check out one of the other videos you might like on my page and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Triton TRA-001. I like it. Oh well, we'll see you soon.